cool, so this is episode 18 um, of the van conversion and as you might be able to see in the background um, and I'll be sort of interme intermingling some shots uh, of the van sort of closer up. I sprayed it. Um, <clears throat> so when I first brought the van, um, it was like really shitty. Um, there was dents everywhere, specifically on this sort of side door. Someone had proper smacked it, um, but also just general bits of like small bits of surface rust um, and dents all over the place because it was a carrier van. So I always had the idea that I was going to spray it um, or get someone to spray it. It was always going to be done up in some way because it was a white van. It looks a bit shitty and the um, as I said the panel was a bit crap anyway so whilst I was sort of making that better it seems pointless to spray over it again with white so I was going to do it a fancy colour so I started to look at um, getting spray paints done, spray jobs done or wraps done um, and they were sort of ballpark in somewhere wraps sort of like two to four thousand pounds for a wrap and then some people were then saying that those over a period of time start to fade they can be a bit shitty so I was you know, not not a brilliant idea, and I'd still have to do all the prep work anyway for getting rid of all the rust and the dents. So, um, and then spray jobs were even more expensive than that. Apart from one guy who I will give credit to, to be fair, um, he travels around basically. It's pretty nomadic life. Travels around, does spray jobs for people, and we were sort of in discussion because at the time I was thinking that might be the way that I'd do it. I spend three days with him, I help it out, a bit of my labour, and we get it done for sort of like just over two thousand pounds. Um, and then I came across Raptor. Uh, this isn't the sponsored video, it's just I have some left over because I've still got to do the top. Um, and the more I looked into it, the more um, it was something that I thought that I could possibly do um, myself. Um, so that's essentially what I did. Um, sprayed it myself uh, with the help of my dad. He's got um, the spray gun. Um, and the compressor, that's all you really need, um, but you don't need that, you can do it, many people do it with like a roller or by paintbrush, um, I don't know how that um, how it's applied really, I'm going to do the top like that um, because it's not something that someone's really going to see that well, a spray gun will give a more even nice finish, um, but uh, I'm going to do the top with a roller and see how that comes out, but essentially the kits that I brought were from a company called uh, Jewel Paints. Um, they were the cheapest at the time, but what you can do is um, Raptor is essentially uh, a truck bed liner, so thick, sort of durable um, paint that's meant to be like hard wearing and resistant. Um, and you can get it in black, uh, you can get it in uh, white, and you can get it in um, tintable. Um, and the tintable is essentially just a sort of a clear where you add your own colour. Um, but this particular company, Jewel Paints, you can specify a particular colour code that you want and they do all the tinting so you don't have to worry about getting exactly the same mixture. So essentially it's what I've done. Um, you get a bottle of the, uh, the tint, I don't know if you can see that. Um, and that's sort of filled up to like there-ish. Uh, you get the hardener. You pour the hardener into that, you shake it up a lot, um, and then if you were just doing it that way, you can buy a, um, a Schultz uh, head that you screw on, plug into your air compressor, and the bottle just dangles and you just spray. We were doing it with a gravity fed one, so we actually have to pour this mixture into a gravity fed gun and then spray, um, and that's how sort of you apply it we went with the approach of thinning it down slightly so it wasn't such a coarse um, finish, almost like brick work. Um, thinned it down a bit so that meant that we got basically 15% extra on the paint because we were thinning it down with the thinners. Um, and it was really simple to apply really. Um, the, the paint goes on fairly easily uh, and it's quite forgiving so because we were doing this outside um, I don't have space to do it inside, I knew it wasn't going to be absolutely mint so that's hence why I was going with the Raptor anyway because it gives that sort of coarse bubbly effect anyway um, so bits of dust and flies and sort of going onto the surface as you're spraying wasn't a problem um, and it worked, turned out really well 
obviously most of the uh, the effort actually is in the prep work. So um, just went around the van, filling up any of the holes, dents with sort of filler, um, and then going over it with an orbital sanding disc, um, sort of like 180 um, grit, scuff it all up, um, then cover all the bits you don't want painted, and then go nuts, spray it. Um, so uh, that's essentially how, how I've done the van, um, and I'm super pleased with it, worked really well, and the total cost was probably, this is a long over sprinter, I brought uh, four of the, uh, was it three? I think it was three. Brought uh, three um, packs of four. So um, the company was selling a four pack. Um, so it's four liters um, of tintable for 60 quid, I think. I bought three of them um, and that covered the sides, uh, the front and the back. Um, we have three coats, um, and I still have three bottles left, which is going to be for uh, the roof. Hopefully, I can get away with like two or one. I don't really know because you're not really going to see it that much. Um, and then a spare bottle for then painting touch ups. So, like the inside of the doors, we didn't do um, as I was always planning to sort of do that by hand. Um, so, that's that. Um, I've then done the black plastics as well so um, sprayed them the other day um, took all them off so now I've got a good contrast of the black um, and you can sort of see the um, the texture of it um, sort of bubbly so where we've done bits um, outside and sort of bits as uh, caught on to the the bodywork as we're spraying it's not really such a big problem because it's uh, sort of a coarse uh, texture anyway, uh, but I'm fairly happy with it. Um, I think it makes the van look a lot nicer than it did before. And the plan is to um, get some decals to go on the side. So uh, this video was just a quick one, basically, just to sort of big up, not necessarily Raptor, but to say I've done bits of spray painting before, like wheels and sort of internal trim bits etc but never a whole body van and neither of my dad um, but it is really really simple uh, to be fair uh, especially when you buy these sort of pre-made kits and the finish that you can get for like a homemade bodge job is brilliant so that's how I spread the van and uh, so it was a big thing on the list of things to do uh, and I think it changes the look completely so yeah